This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very exciting guest with us. He is Jason Tenier. He is the CEO of Telconet. Uh, they trade on the OTC QB under the ticker symbol TKOI. Jason, thank you and welcome to the show. Thank you. Hey, give my listeners a little background of yourself and a little bit of background of how you got started with the company. And then later on, we'll get into the Q&A. Sure. Uh, I myself come from a technology background. I founded a couple of uh, companies, the first in uh, IT consulting, <clears throat> excuse me. And through that, uh, that company, I had an offshoot startup called Ethostream that uh, designed, developed, uh, built, installed, and supported high-speed internet access networks for hotels. It uh, was and, and currently is one of the largest and most trafficked hospitality high-speed internet access network in the uh, United States. We currently have about 2,500 hotels, a little bit more than a quarter million rooms, and about 100 million users cross that network annually. Uh, starting that company uh, and growing it within the hospitality space, I ran into Telconet back around 2006, and through a, a number of different uh, interactions with them, we decided to uh, to link up. Uh, Telconet acquired my business, Ethostream, in 2007, along with a third company named Smart Systems International, which was in the uh, occupancy-based energy management space within hospitality. And through that, uh, I, I began developing the platform that we now uh, market today called Ethosmart, which is a commercial Internet of Things platform uh, largely sold into hospitality, higher education, military, um, commercially operated residential apartments, etc. So for my listeners who don't follow uh, your company, uh, Talconet, give us a little bit uh, thesis of how you guys make your money and what exactly you do. Sure. So Within Telconet today, uh, through the evolution since uh, it took over, we currently have two different divisions. The first is the original Ethostream hospitality network. As I said, services about 2,500 hotels, whereby we build high-speed internet access networks. Think gateway, uh, networking switches, and wireless access points installed within hotels so that when you check into your room, you're able to use the internet uh, throughout the property. Other than Ethostream, the second division is called EcoSmart. And what EcoSmart is, is a platform of products, software, services, as well as mobile applications that we've developed from the ground up that allows commercial properties to be able to offer Internet of Things or intelligent automation to end users. Uh, so we actually develop the hardware products from thermostats, light switches, and wall outlets that all speak using a wireless technology called Zigbee. All of those devices communicate to a cloud-based software-as-a-service platform called EcoCentral. We have our own 24-7 monitoring center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, that provides monitoring and, and support over those networks, ensuring that our customers are receiving the largest savings that they can in energy, as well as providing the greatest comfort that they can to their guests. And then mobile applications that allow uh, a guest to control the lights and thermostat, et cetera, within a hotel room or within a, a dormitory room something that you see very similar to uh, consumer space companies like SmartThings or Nest do today. But Absolutely. In, uh, the, the, the commercial space. So, My guest today is uh, Jason Tenure. He is the CEO of Telconet. They trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol TKOI. You know, a lot of the CEOs that I bring on the show, they, uh, they have very little in revenues. That's not the case for Telconet. Uh, I just wanted to... Uh, you know, brag about your company just a little bit. In 2014, you guys were a little bit north of 14 million in revenue. In 2015, just a slight bit of over 15 million. But what I really want to talk about is the first quarter in 2016, which you guys did around $4.6 million in revenue. Tell me, who are your partners, some of your customers, and what's the growth going forward for your company? Absolutely. So because the Internet of Things has become such a, a fascination for uh, society today and because the understanding of the Internet of Things and how it can benefit our users has increased so dramatically, we largely see the future of our business in our EcoSmart platform. Uh, 
obviously because the, the creature comforts that are offered by improved technology and utilizing technology, simple um, activities like controlling the temperature in a space and, and reducing energy consumption when nobody is benefiting from it, it has a payback of you know 40 to 50 percent and because of that our customers see the, the dramatic um, uh, possibilities of this platform. Uh, Q1 really resulted in the culmination of partnerships that we've created over the last couple of years with companies such as Johnson Controls, also located here in Milwaukee, uh, Train, uh, Carrier, um, UTC. These types of partnerships allow us to reach a far broader and wider audience than we could on our own as a smaller company as Telcon it is. So by forming these partnerships, utilizing their distribution networks, and them taking our product platform to their existing audience has really created dramatic inroads to our growth, as you saw in the first quarter, as you mentioned. You know, grassroots sales, expound on this a little bit if you can, Jason. Do, do you guys have in-house sales? Or are you farming all that out? Uh, we actually have internal sales as well as channel sales. Largely since the EcoSmart platform was built from the ground up, uh, it was a new brand within a new market, we really had to garner the attention of our, our target markets through our own efforts. But as we've been able to do so since the release of EcoSmart in 2011, over the first few years of largely direct uh, sales, we were able to build a solid customer base. We were able to expand uh, our, our market penetration into our target markets, and we were able to uh, garner the attention of, of these partners as I described. So by being able to build out that, uh, that market awareness, now we're able to create larger channels um, uh, channel activity. So we still have our own direct sales force internally, but the largest growth for us is through our, our, our channel efforts and our channel partners. Can you tell my listeners how big of an industry this is and, and who's in this space? Are you guys the only one in this space? How is the competition? Well, our largest competition within the hospitality market was a company named Incom, who was acquired a couple of years ago by Honeywell International. So obviously there are a lot of larger players that participate in the space as well. Schneider Electric is another competitor within the hospitality market. Outside of that are activities in, in secondary markets like higher education. These same competitors don't aren't active in those markets as much as we are, and we have larger relationships that have existing clientele within those spaces like Johns Controls is our most active sales partner within the higher education space. So rather than having to compete with the behemoth that is uh, the token of added size, we're able to compete uh, with these other companies with far bigger and better resources behind us as well. My guest today is Jason Tenor. He is the CEO of Telconet Inc. They trade on the OTC QB under the ticker symbol TKOI. Now, are you guys doing any R&D? What are your latest innovations going on? Uh, we absolutely continue to invest heavily in R&D. We believe that it's a competitive differentiation in our ability to uh, remain ahead of uh, the market in both what we see being developed for the future and how our customers interact with the Internet of Things. Some of the newest releases that we just uh, demonstrated over the course of the last 30 days was our ability to take our mobile applications and integrate them into existing hospitality loyalty mobile applications. So think of franchises like Marriott, Hilton, Starwood. They all have their own loyalty application that you can install on your phone that you utilize whenever you go to one of their properties. They're already developing services into those mobile applications like electronic door lock so that you can receive the entry key to your phone so when you arrive at a hotel, you can open the door to your hotel room just by holding your phone up to it using that loyalty application. We've provided the same type of capability by taking the interaction with our in-room devices like thermostats, light switches, and wall outlets, and providing an application programming interface, or API, to their developers so that they can integrate those same types of controls into their existing loyalty application. We demonstrated a working model of this utilizing Red Lion Hotel's franchise loyalty application at Hitech just a couple of weeks ago. In addition, at the same time, we've seen the evolution of in-room controls move from changing the temperature on a, a device itself, such as a PTAC, to moving it off to a remote thermostat c controlling that same device, to moving it off to a third-party platform, operating it through a billion automation system or property management system or on a computer screen, to moving it into now mobile applications so that you can do it via the phone, as I just mentioned. Absolutely. And we feel that next evolution is going to be, as you've already seen in the home, voice 
whereby you don't need to control anything or carry anything in order to provide controls over those um, in-room devices. You simply walk into a room uh, as the Amazon Echo device, which has become so popular, has demonstrated, and say, Alexa, Eco Smart, good morning. And it will turn the lights on for you, turn the thermostat up for you, open the blinds or shades for you, all in one comfortable action. That's intelligent automation without any manual intervention, all capable through voice control. Telconet is our company that we're highlighting today. They've got real revenues. they got real management. They're on a super growing phase, I think. They're projected to do over $16 million in 2016. And uh, the stock price is only trading at 19 cents. Uh, to me, it's very undervalued, but that's my personal opinion. Jason, uh, in closing here, is there anything you and I didn't get a chance to talk about that you would like to get out to the listeners? No, honestly, I appreciate the time and, and the uh, ability to answer your questions. As I said, you know, the Internet of Things is dramatically growing, and I would uh, just recommend that people keep their eye on our products and our platform and see how we continue to demonstrate new evolutions in the commercial Internet of Things space. Jason Tenure has been our guest today. He is the CEO of Telconet. Jason, I wish you the very best, and thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you very much. <laughs>